Hi, my name is Bavisha Patel and I'm the current chair of the Standing Committee on Veterinary Education. In today's Vet Talks, I'm going to be talking about what SCOVI is, our aims and our current projects. So just a brief outline of what I'm going to be talking about, I'll just give a brief introduction to what IVSA is, the status of veterinary education today, the foundations of SCOVI, our aims, our projects, and that includes Vet Talks and our future potential goals. So a little introduction to what IVSA is. IVSA is the International Veterinary Students Association. It's a non-profit, non-governmental organisation. It is solely run by uh, veterinary students and it was established in the 1950s in Germany. And our mission of IVSA is to benefit the animals and people of the world. So IVSA has several domains. One of them is funds. We have um, very close relationships with many external partners that allows us to provide financial support for students to undertake work experience opportunities abroad. We also um, host individual exchanges and group exchanges between member organisations and different countries and within uh, global IVSA we have several standing committees. Not only do we have the Standing Committee on Veterinary Education but we also have the Standing Committee on Animal Welfare, One Health, the Alumni Committee and the Working Group on Policy Papers and Statements. We also have, we host several events. One of them is Congress. We host a Congress um, annually every summer and symposium every winter. And there are several publications within IVSA, including the Termly Newsletter, IVSA Journals, and the Standing Committee on One Health, Venture Public Health Journal, and Ethic Committee publications as well. So within IVSA, we have uh, standing committees. There are three big committees. We have the Standing Committee on Animal, Animal Welfare, one Health and Veterinary Education. The Animal Welfare Committee helps to host and uh, develop uh, events um, on animal welfare. They're also there to promote um, releases and developments in improving animal welfare globally. The Standing Committee on One Health publishes, publishes um, Veterinary Public Health Journal um, with the collaboration of the Medical and Pharmaceutical Associations. And Standing Committee on veterinary, veterinary Education is us and our aim is to improve veterinary education globally. So we was, SCOBI was established in Indonesia Congress in uh, August 2014 and the overall main aim of SCOBI is to spread veterinary education throughout the world. We're there to provide more free knowledge opportunities by gaining more partnerships with online companies so we can gain, to allow students to gain access to the um, free online resources or discounted resources. We're also there to um, provide um, developments in extra veterinary skills, including bus business and uh, management and communication and professionalism. So we've developed the vet profession map and uh, hosted webinars on alternative careers within veterinary education. And we're also there to help make schools curriculums better. So overall, we're there to, um, we're the voice of the students within the International veterinary, veterinary Education Committee. And we're there to have a say in um, developing and changing the current curriculum. So the status of veterinary education bodies. So SCOVI is the spokesman and the voice of the students and we're, and we're here to represent the views of the students to allow curriculum changes or to change you know, veterinary education overall to the students perspective and it's not only just it's not only us within the veterinary education uh, community globally we also have AVMA, EVE, RCVS and EBVS and many other organisations as well that we closely work with. So the status of veterinary education in terms of journals Within the uh, medical field, there's about 32 journals, but unfortunately, within veterinary medicine, there are only two, and that includes the Journal of Veterinary Medical Education and then Veterinary Education. I think the same is true for events as well. There are many medical events, and you know, there's one association in Europe called the Association of Med Medical Education in Europe, and there are several others for different continents and different countries. But unfortunately, in veterinary education, there are only two um, veterinary education conferences hosted globally, and that's the OIE, which is the World Organization on Animal Health Global Conference of Veterinary Education, and the Vet Ed Socium Conference, hosted annually in the UK. So within SCOBI, we have several domains, and that includes the education resource domain, postgraduate and training domain, and the vocational guidance domain, and there's several, there are many other domains as well. So with the educational resource domain, uh, we have developed the EduPlus site. Now, the EduPlus site is a website that uh, 
we developed that has an accumulation and collates all the online resources um, into one web, categorize them into different subheadings and different subjects that that website um, helps with. So it allows students to, so we allow students to gain access to Edu Plus so that they can um, click on a certain subheading or category to find all the online resources that are that give uh, information on that category. For instance, we've uh, We've um, done categories based on animal species, but also miscellaneous subjects like microbiology, physiology, anatomy, and so forth. So we not only provide um, collate online websites, but also webinars, e-learning resources, online free journals, and um, and other platforms as well, like VetMed Academy. Within our postgraduate and training domain, we have the Vet Stage project, which is developed by the executive committee of IVSA. So the Vet Stage project um, is currently being developed and hopefully will be published soon. And it includes, um, so there's a website that includes all the traineeships, internships, residencies, work experience opportunities that are available globally for students to undertake. And it includes dates, timings, and uh, prices uh, of these um, of these experience opportunities. So it's a great way for students to gain easy access uh, into what's available out there for them to to do and what opportunities really interest them the most. We also have the vocational guidance domain, and within the vocational guidance domain, we have the vet profession map. So the vet profession map is a database that includes a presentation, a fact sheet, leaflets, and documents on all the clinical and alternative careers within veterinary medicine and um, also includes details on the skills um, and references, skills required uh, within each career and references of, for further reading. So it's just a starting point for students to look into different careers within veterinary medicine and to you know, make, make them realise that there's not just clinical careers but there's also you know, uh, other international careers like pharmaceutical works or they can go into research or public health, for instance. We also have um, three other domains, the curriculum domain, policy domain, and interdisciplinary collaboration domain as well. So as I said, within education resource domain, we have the EduPlus platform, but we also have the EduPlus article database. We realise that there's not only... Um, there's many, other, there's many articles online and PDFs available that actually help to supplement students' education. And so we collated most of these um, online uh, articles onto one database and that can be accessed on our website. We also have um, uh, special partnerships with external organisations like Wikivet who helped us to develop the Vet Talks project and VetStream which is an online website that provides a clinical reference for veterinarians as well as for students and thankfully they've provided IVSA with um, IVSA members with free membership and so IVSA, IVSA students can gain access to VetStream which is normally paid for and they can gain access to all the um, uh, clinical material on there so it's really good to for clinical students and for um, veterinarians as well. We've also developed with them the VetStream Scovy Ambassador project so we have made an open call for uh, students to have the opportunity to be a Vetstream SCOVI ambassador, a representative of Vetstream and SCOVI at their vet school. And they're there to promote the Vetstream at their vet school and to encourage the university to pay for a subscription to Vetstream. And in return, the, the ambassador would receive a financial reward. So it is, it is a, a, a great project that will help to improve the publicity of SCOVI but, and also Vetstream. Within the curriculum domain, we have the EVE call for students. So the education, the um, European Association of Veterinary Education makes a, um, with IVSA makes a call out to students who would like to be student evaluators um, at uh, evaluating vet schools in Europe annually. So IVSA helps to choose the best students who would be good for the job and uh, allow students have the, to have the opportunity to um, evaluate certain schools within Europe. And that um, call out is normally made in September uh, every year. We also have hosted several webinars. Um, one webinar was the altern um, looking into alternative careers within veterinary medicine. Veterinary medicine. And um, we're also going to host a webinar on aquatic medicine in March time 2016. We've also developed several policies. One of them is animal welfare, education, and pet owner deontology, which includes um, IVSA's standpoint on not only educating vet students, but also educating the public and um, 
uh, healthcare professionals or people who own animals about husbandry and animal care. We also have a Vet Talks project, which is part of the education resource domain. So Vet Talks project, hopefully, you know, is a Vet Talks is kind of like the equivalent of TED Talks, but for veterinary medicine. So we provide 10 to 15 minute online lectures on certain topics within veterinary medicine to supplement the learning of students during vet school and also provide talks on alternative subjects and um, subjects that are not normally taught in vet school. And in traineeship, we also have the vet stage externship, a job platform, as I've mentioned before. So within education resource domain, we have the EduPlus platform, as I said, is a website that collates all the online educational resources into one website. So it allows students to gain easy access to all these websites and find them quite easily. Um, and it's user friendly and it also provides um, journals, um, course, online courses and um, and subjects that are not normally taught like uh, business management and uh, communication and professional. So we categorise them into animal species, but also, also miscellaneous subjects as well, and extra veterinary uh, stuff as well. So within education resource domain, as I said, we have vet talks, which uh, no, currently have been hosted by outstanding speakers recommended by students globally who have hosted a vet talks presentation, a 10 to 15 minute vet talks presentation on their specialist subject. We've now made an open call for students to um, host their own vet talks, the uh, object that they're particularly interested in and they know and they know a lot about and we're very happy to receive um, students uh, vet talks presentation if they'd like more information on you know, how to record and how to contribute to vet talks then please email at vet talks um, at ivsa.org. <clears throat> so we have surveys as well so we've done a survey on uh, what is the educational teaching like where you are and there's been that we received a lot of results but there was also a lot of people said that educational teaching is predominantly lecture and practical uh, teaching based and there is a need of improvement to uh, add more e-learning resources so the role of Scovy is just try to fill in the gaps and to provide more e-learning resource materials and to collaborate more with external partners so that we can provide them with um, more advanced materials online. So we also did a survey on what is the curriculum like, curriculum like at your vet school and we found that you know, teaching is predominantly lecture based with some seminars and practical classes and students would prefer to have more online tutorials and anatomy models so there is definitely a need of improvement to, so it's, of, of increasing uh, in-class participation and interactive quizzes. So the role of Scovy is just try to incorporate to cooperate with curriculum setting organisations on improving the curriculum to benefit the student's perspective. So our overall strategy is just combining our powers of educational partners for the student's good. So we have several partners including Wikivet, VetPD, Study Portals, VetStream and Dr Smarts and I would do, I do recommend checking them out and seeing and uh, using their resources is a great is a great way of supplementing your learning as with your um, current educational material and so uh, with SCOVI we're there to provide support to students by providing more online uh, resources and hopefully providing more discounts, special offers um, with our external partners and more free memberships like um, with VetStream. So thank you for listening to the Vet Talks presentation and I hope you understand more about what SCOVI is. The links to our websites are below and you can access our projects through there and more, and more information about the committee and IVSA can be found on our website as well. If you would like more information about you know, what SCOVI is or you have new ideas for what SCOVI could do or new potential projects then do please email us at veterinaryeducation at ivsa.org or please follow our website and you can find our details and our contact page there. Thank you.